वेलकम बैक स्टूडेंट्स दिस इज इन कंटिन्यूएशन टू द प्रोनेशन मूवमेंट नाउ वी आर ऑन द सुपिनेशन मूवमेंट दीज आर द मसल्स विच विल प्रोड्यूस द सुपिनेशन ओके ऑफ द फोर आर्म सो दीज मसल्स विच प्रोड्यूस द सुपिनेशन ऑफ द फोर आर्म ओके राइट फ्रॉम दैट ऑफ द प्रोनेशन फॉर एग्जाम्पल दिस इज द पोजिशन ऑफ द प्रोनेशन वेयर द रेडियस इज क्रॉसिंग टू द अल्ला in front and showing the lower end dorsal surface and the dorsum of the hand is seen from here how ultimately the supination takes place from pronation in case of the forearm that is the video okay so this is the second half of the uh, supination and pronation movements and the muscle producing this movement for the forearm let us see the muscles which are responsible for the production of the supination movement okay this is the biceps brachii then the supinator muscle the brachioradialis muscle and the adductor pollicis longus so these are the four muscles some of them are strong prone and uh, supinator some are the weak supinator muscle so we will learn about all these four muscles let us see the biceps brachii this is the tendon of the biceps brachii coming from the arm in front of the elbow it will divide into two uh, parts this is the tendon will continue strong tendon and will go and get attached to the dorsal part of the radial tuberosity this is the radial tuberosity and a bursa will interpose between the two to avoid the friction and then there will be an aponeurotic uh, seat which will be going and fusing with the under surface of the deep fascia covering to the muscles on the medial side which are taking common origin from the medial epicondyle <coughs> so this is how the insertion of the biceps brachii will take place okay the second muscle is supinator muscle and this supinator as we are seeing in this pronated arm the posterior surface of the ulna is here okay you can see not posterior this is the uh, i mean to say supinator crest is here as seen here and the fossa below the supinator crest in front of that and then the fibers which are taking origin these are the fibers of supinator taking origin from supinator crest and fossa in front of it <coughs> just below the radial notch of the ulna this is the radial notch of the ulna and these fibers they run okay they will run towards the radius and will cover first the anterior surface see here they will cover first the posterior surface then lateral surface and then they will cover the anterior surface of this okay so they will be covering here the uh, surfaces of the radius okay so this is the supinator muscle which is attached here on to the posterior to the lateral and to that to the anterior surface of the upper end of the radius so this muscle will come from behind that means from the posterior after taking origin this will be then wind round uh -huh. will form a oblique insertion after this this is the anterior surface then it will cover to the lateral surface and then ultimately it is coming from the posterior surface to the i mean to say posterior surface so this is just forming a circle okay after taking its origin from the supinator crest as it is seen here then it will form a circle towards the upper end of the radius okay now this is the supinator muscle then the third muscle is the brachioradialis which will help in the supination which takes origin from the lateral supracondylar ridge okay and this lateral supracondylar ridge is just above the lateral epicondyle of the humerus from where this muscle fiber will take origin and the long muscle will become tendinous and will attach just above the stellate -like process of the radius okay on the lateral surface so this is a lateral muscle okay so this is called as the brachioradialis muscle and then the fourth muscle which will produce the uh, supination is the abductor pollicis longus because of its twisted uh, traveling i mean say journey as well as this muscle comes from the posterior aspect of the 
a radius that means from the extensor compartment then it lies on to the lateral surface of the lower end of the radius here and then it will go and get attached on to the base of the first metacarpal okay so it will from posterior it will come to the lateral and then it will come towards the hmm, uh, the first metacarpal that means for it will come from here then it will wind down and then it will come to get attached on to the base of the first metacarpal bone so these are the four muscles which are responsible for the production of the supination from a pronated forearm so the important thing is to note that the arm a uh, forearm is already in the pronated position see here this is the pronated front of the ulna the lower end of the ulna and this is has been crossed by the radius and this is the lower end of the radius which is showing the posterior surface and the skeleton of the hand in the posterior surface for example something like this is not moving properly but it is here that this will be the position in case of the uh, pronated condition now when this muscle will contract they will pull this radius and rotate it towards the lateral side so all supinator muscles they are the lateral rotator muscles okay so they will uh, not only just rotate the radius in superior and inferior radial nerve joint but they will also the lower end will go towards the lateral side which is now lying medial to the lower end of the ulna will go to the lateral as it is so here in supine supine position okay this is prone position and supine of the forearm so when this muscle will contract that is the which is the strong supinus supinator okay that is the biceps brachii which is attached to the uh, posterior half of the uh, this uh, i mean to say radial tuberosity this is a diagram from the prone position this is in the prone because here the radial tuberosity is slightly facing backward which is not normal this is the normal supine position or anatomical position is there so there this muscle will contract very strongly okay and will just pull the radius will make it to rotate so this a uh, muscle will rotate i mean so the radius will try to rotate along with an another muscle which is the second is the supinator so the biceps brachii and supinator when they will contract they will try to rotate the upper end of the radius towards the lateral side because this is the lateral side this is the medial so the radius will rotate uh, towards the lateral side so in such a way that now the radial tuberosity is exactly exactly facing medial means towards the ulna previously it was facing post to posterior slightly post to medial but now it will be facing uh, totally towards the medial side while this is taking place with the help of the biceps brachii as well as the supinator muscle okay the two other muscles are helping that is brachioradialis see the brachioradialis taking origin from the lateral supracondylar ridge of humerus now in pronated position see the position of the muscle it is crossing okay from med uh, lateral towards the medial side from lateral to the medial this muscle and attached to the stellate process of the radius here more medially when this muscle will contract it will pull the lower end okay of the radius to rotate in the superior and inferior radial nerve joint so the lower end of the radius will be brought towards the lateral side of the uh, lower end of the ulna so this will bring it to the its original supine uh, i mean say position in supine position so the lower end will make a, a circle of 180 degree so it, it will come here and this is achieved by that of the brachioradialis along with the powerful biceps as well as the supinator so this is the third muscle when we go to the fourth muscle producing the supination the forearm this is the abductor pollicis longus as i said that this comes from the posterior compartment then runs runs on to the lateral side of the radius then comes slightly far front and it is attached to the base of the first metacarpal bone oh, sorry metacarpal bone then this okay 
this muscle in pronated position is quite twisted and when it will contract it will try to pull this lateral border or thumb from which is now medial it will try to pull the thumb towards the lateral side so this muscle is also helping in that of the rotation of the radius indirectly though it is not attached to the radius it is attached to the skeleton of hand to the first meta uh, carpal bone has it will rotate the hand towards the along with which the lower end of the radius will also rotate laterally thus these four muscles will produce a movement of the supination from the pronated position from the pronated position thus ultimately the supination will be produced okay so remember that not only the biceps and supinator they are the uh, uh, supinator okay or they produce the supination movement of forearm there are two other muscles which are also helping in production of the supination movement this completes the muscles which are responsible for producing the uh, supination movement thus i have completed the muscles which are responsible for pronation as well as supination movement and how the pronation and supination movements they takes place thank you very much for watching this video